It is wet out here, David. I mean, my, my little form here that I use for my notes is a mess. But you know what? This is so important. It doesn't matter anyway. Rain or shine, get your mammogram. But let me introduce you to, uh, well, she's an eighth grade teacher and advisor, a team lead at Bowles. This is Morgan Tykert. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So you have a story. Uh, breast cancer has touched so many people's lives, right? But yeah. yours is very personal. Yeah. So tell us how breast cancer has affected your life. So the day before Thanksgiving um, in 2000, when I was a junior in high school, my mother was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer. Um, so years worth of chemo, radiation, uh, lumpectomy, all of that. Um, and about four and a half years later, after she, we thought she was in remission, mm -hmm. it did metastasize. And when breast cancer metastasizes, it goes to your lung, your, your lungs, your liver, your bones, and your brain. And it went oh. everywhere for her except her brain. Um, and after that, it was another four years of constant chemo, surgeries, hemi hip replacements. Um, and then she passed in January of 2009, Sorry. about eight months before our wedding. So, oh. yeah. And so when you have, obviously, being a woman is the number one risk factor. We talked about it on the show, which is very interesting. Men can get it too, but it's right. most prominent in women. Right. Um, but the genetic component as well. So when you found out, okay, my mom had this, this is near and dear, literally to my blood, um, what did the doctors advise you to do? What was what was your kind of role next path. after that? Well, when, yeah, I was, when I was 30, I started uh, mammograms and bre uh, breast MRIs, which is pretty um, early, early on. But my team at Mayo, I had an incredible team of doctors at Mayo Clinic. Um, they did all of the genetic testing. We did a lot of that. Um, numbers games and yeah. basically it was determined that I had a 39% lifetime risk mm -hmm. of getting breast cancer and to doctors and insurance companies anything over 20% is considered high risk so oh, I was really? yes so I was almost double oh my god high risk wow. so we determined that in May of 2018 and in July of 2018 I had a prophylactic double mastectomy Wow Yes. Oh my God, well that was gonna be my next question. Yeah. What did you do about it? So yes. you took matters into your own hand. You didn't wanna deal with, with that anymore, right? The anxiety, I read a little no. bit of your story and right. you're like, we're just gonna get rid of it now and not right. have to worry. So do you still have to do checkups, I imagine? No, because, really? yes, because of the type of surgery that I had, um, other than annual visits to my doctor, right. I do not have to have mammograms and I don't have to have any breast MRIs. So. Well, that's great, but that you nice. do recommend that other women do, right? Oh, absolutely, because the anxiety for anybody that has had breast cancer in their family or any women in general, we've all been affected by this disease. We have to advocate for ourselves. Mm -hmm. My mother was diagnosed in 2000, it's now 2023. Medicine has come so far oh, and yeah. it's like what a gift that we now live in a world where we can you know, be empowered to fight for our health. Um, I'm pretty convinced that, you know, I'm a believer that everything happens for a reason. And um, I'm standing here today and I, I, I feel like my mother died, so I didn't have to. That I would never have gone through this if it hadn't have been for her. Right. And we do not want women who have gone before us and died from this disease, we don't want their deaths to be in vain. Right. So this is why we're here today. This is why we're encouraging people to get mammograms. And this is why we're saying, you know, advocate for your help. Save yourself. Um, be there for your family. Yeah, and you're right. a mom it's too, a right? So right. you want that for your children. You I don't am. want your children to go through what you did with your. Yeah, with I do your not. Mom, right? I, I thought about that. You know, my brother and I. It's been a long road, and we're still very, very close. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't want my children to ever experience the, you know, my loss right. or or even that fear because sometimes and a lot of times we forget about the caretakers of right. our our loved ones who are ill. Mm -hmm. And being a caretaker and feeling that helplessness is just as difficult. So why not, well, you know? Well, thank you so much for oh, helping for having... helping us out today and telling your story. And I'm so glad you're doing well. Thank you. I appreciate and, it. Of course. And we're out here at the Bulls School for Buddy Check 12 Day. Got the Buddy Bus behind me. We'll be doing a little true and false next time you see me. So uh, back.